Edmonton had a streetcar service started in 1908. Okay. And this is the 100th anniversary of Edmonton Transit System. And the original Car One is operating this weekend or Father's Day weekend at Fort Edmonton Park. Okay. And it has been completely refurbished. It uh, was the only one that the Edmonton Transit companies kept in 1951 when they stopped streetcar service. And all the rest were sold off and used as chicken coops and summer cottages and stuff like that. Okay. The Edmonton Radial Railway Society, or the service, started as just a loop around downtown Edmonton, basically. And when they built the bridge in 1913, the bridge opened, they had streetcar tracks across, and that was when the streetcars finally came to, to uh, Strathcona. It was basically a political move, and I don't, I'm not sure about that, but it was just buses were much easier to maintain than they could go anywhere. You know, and they'd started bus service already prior to that. So, you know, you didn't need all the overhead, you didn't need the street, you didn't need the track, and all that stuff. They felt that driving a diesel bus was less maintenance. The society started in 1980, and there was a few members. Uh, I think there were three or four people that were ex-Edmonton Transit, and they wanted to preserve the streetcars, and Fort Edmonton was starting up wanted to run the streetcars in Fort Edmund. And the high level crossing is the highest in the world, is that? It's the highest streetcar crossing in the world today. Okay. The bridge is approximately half a mile long and we're 150 feet above the water. These have no emissions. Okay. Okay. This runs, we got a 600 volt overhead power line. Mm -hmm. And so it's all electric. There's no, this is the latest thing is everybody wants an electric car because there's no emissions at all. And this is what we have here, is total electric. And it, it uh, these are, I think they're 35 horsepower motors. There's one on each truck. So there's two 35 horsepower motors. And we take our electricity from EPCOR on the overhead line. And members of the society wired the whole thing, is that right? That is correct, yes. We started uh, 1995, they started uh, refurbishing the high-level bridge. We got the right-of-way here, the CPR stopped using the tracks in the late 80s, and we wanted to uh, have a streetcar society or a streetcar experience for the people of Edmonton, 